Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review for you here today. And oh yes, my beautiful subscribers, fans, friends, oh yes, I'm going to be throwing you a curveball today because I'm actually not going to be doing a beauty product review. Okay, I know. What's, what's going on? Okay, anyways, I want to go ahead and get into this. This is a device I bought about six, six and a half months ago. I have absolutely been loving this. I will insert a picture of what this looks like because right now it is out in my pool doing its job. Okay, I love, love, love it. I will put, I bought it from Walmart and I will put in the down bar below exactly how much I paid for it. But anyhow, let's examine the box real quick here. This is a universal pool cover pump. It says it's 500 gallons per hour and 115 volts universal pump can be used in above ground pools in ground pools tanks and ponds okay so it says hooks up to the garden hose completely submersible which yes it is has a one-year warranty uh, it says 24 foot power cord which yes it does have that 500 gallons per hour and it has a reusable filter on it i love 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 this love this small little pump okay let me see there's the directions small owner's manual there that's what the little pump looks like okay let me tell you i love this this year i decided to go out all out and get fancy smancy with my swimming pool cover when i winterized my swimming pool about six months ago i decided to get all fancy with it I decided to buy the um, Arctic Winter Solid Pool Cover. Okay, and typically everybody's really used to using the mesh covers that are woven mesh. And when it rains or you get water build up, it just meshes down and goes through the mesh into the pool and mixes with your pool water. And typically it's no big deal. If your pool is properly winterized, when the water mixes from your pool cover into your pool, it's usually no problem. But I just didn't want that this year. I really, really did not want that. I wanted to buy the solid Arctic fancy smancy more expensive pool cover which i did so therefore that means the water builds up on top of the cover and just sits there on the surface is what happens so you're left with all that drudge and dredgy and murky water and nasty buildup is what you're left with per se so i bought this from walmart six months ago and i have been using this so religiously we had a little bit of snow this year but more importantly we have had a lot of rain we have had torrential downpour um, that's really unusual or more like unheard of as far as location wise where i'm located Located. So this pump has come in so handy, but let me just tell you it works very 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 slow Okay, it says 500 gallons per hour, but trust me. It's really slow. It's so easy to use you plug it into um, your outdoor outlet your outdoor wall outlet you plug it into that. Okay, that's the power source. Obviously, it's electric. That's how it runs, but it is grounded uh, for, you know, you can't be shocked or anything like that. It's grounded and it's made, obviously, to be submerged and to perform underwater, if you know what I mean. So, it's so simple, so easy. You just connect it up. You connect the connector piece right here to your water hose. Your basic typical garden water hose, and you position that garden water hose wherever in your yard that you want the water to drain. So, you know, a low-lying point of your yard, obviously a point in your yard that you don't mind getting muddy because you will be dealing with a mud issue from all the water buildup draining out of the garden hose onto your grass, your lawn, your turf, your uh, patio, your cement, whatever it is. So you will be dealing with a mud issue quite possibly. So you really have to intricately position the garden water hose so, you know, you don't mind getting mud in your yard. Like I put it in the far cor corner of my yard. Um, I don't mind uh, my Doberman. Obviously, uh, my beauty assistant, he doesn't mind. So anyhow, I love, love, love it. Um, let's go real quick to get to it, and I will show you exactly how this works. So easy, so simple. I love it. I do recommend it. Okay, let's get started here. Let's uh, go out to the pool, okay? See, this is actually very easy to use and absolutely this season this little pump has been a life saver it absolutely has absolutely absolutely we have had an unbelievably rainy season um, we had a little bit of snow this year 
but more importantly we've just had a lot of rain we've had torrential downpour and especially lately and to keep this really swampy nasty water from building up on top of your uh, pool line or, excuse me your pool cover this this is unbelievable this works so well let me show you here Okay, as you can see, you see all the nasty, yucky rainwater there that has built up over the last week on top of the uh, pool cover? Okay, see, that's kind of what I get for buying a fancy smancy uh, this year pool cover. I opted not to buy the mesh cover, and I bought this very sturdy, very thick, very solid cover that no water or no moisture leaks through whatsoever. And being that the water does not seep through uh, and go into the pool and mix with the pool water, it just sets on top of your pool cover. And you're left with this big yucky mess, as you can see, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully there's not too much glare because it's actually a beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. Anyhow, I was gonna just pull the little pump up here and show you here, okay. It's actually working right now it's on and you can't even tell it's on the only way you can really tell that this is actually working it on is just feel the water hose and you can just feel the vibration going through the water hose um, typically you know it's do you hear the noise it's making that suction noise let me show you okay typically it's supposed to sit like this and it has suction cup feet on the bottom of the uh, pump and it's supposed to suck and adhere to the pool cover, but it really doesn't. So I just let it, I let it go ahead and fall over because um, it's okay, totally okay to do that because you can let the device and the actual pump itself, you can let it become submerged. So no problem. I've been using this for a few months now. I've been using this all season and I have just let it totally submerge like this um, and lay on its side. No big problem because it's meant to get wet. It's, um, you know, meant to do that and it's not meant to be an electrical hazard or electrical shock or anything like that if it does get wet. That is the actual, uh, you know, that's just how the device and the pump works. So as you can see, see all this yucky rainwater and the, uh, muddy sludge looking built up that's built up from this week we've had torrential downpour and i mean it's been such a mess um, anyhow i really love this device i bought it at walmart um, like i said earlier and i will put in the down bar below exactly what i paid for it i've been using this i have been using it constantly for uh, about six months now it works fantastic however it's very slow um, let me warn you about that if you're looking for something to remove the water from the top of your pool cover in a very very fast or timely fashion it's obviously not going to be this little pump um, these little pumps are designed to work slowly um, evidently they're not meant to just uh, you know you know if you're if you're wanting or needing to remove the water quickly you'll have to obviously rent something or buy something very powerful that has a compressor on it you know etc etc all the fancy smancy stuff but being that I paid actually you know very little money for the, for this from my local Walmart um, it really is a gem it really is a find I love 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 it it's really been a savior the last six months um, like I said it works very very slow though and it's slow going it's a process that you need to wake up early in the morning and you can put Put this atop of your pool cover uh, connect the water hose uh, to it and let it drain out into your yard like so like I've done as you can see let's just follow the water hose out here there's that is where my water hose goes to um, the lowest part of my yard the lowest part of my fence and um, yeah it's no big problem it's no big deal but it does take a very long time so be totally aware of that it's a very slow process i put this in here um, real early this morning and it's already about five something p.m um, in the late afternoon and it's still very sunny and bright out here but by tonight probably about eight or nine o'clock it will probably be finished um, then again hopefully you haven't received as much torrential downpour or rain that i have received so I love this pump. I love it. I love it. You know, really, what more can I say about it? I highly recommend it. I will put in the, in, in the down bar below the description, the actual name of the product, how much I paid for it. Take care. Much love now. Bye.